Hello and welcome to the Judo Way of Life. I'm David. I hope you're well, hope your judo training is going good, uh, you're getting some nice big throws in your randoris uh, and you're, you're winning fights and competitions. I'd like to start off by thanking you for watching this video and hopefully you've watched some of my other videos. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. So today's video was another uh, Olympic lifting video. I did a uh, my first lifting comp video a couple of weeks back. Uh, oh, maybe a couple of months back now, back in March. So if you haven't watched that one, I will link it up above. Now, last time I pointed to the corner, I got it wrong in one of the other videos, so I'll, it'll just be in the, one of the corners now. Uh, so in that video, I'll sort of go through why and I, I got into Olympic lifting, uh, but it's my new favorite hobby, and um, don't really consider judo a hobby anymore at this point, after 25 years, it is pretty much my life. Um, so Olympic lifting has become my new favorite hobby, uh, and I've been competing. Uh, I did another competition at the weekend, now, if, uh, if you follow my me on uh, my Instagram or on the Facebook page, then you'll have already seen these videos. Um, if you're not, go over there now and uh, give us a follow. I'm much appreciated. Um, and if you're not not a fan of the old social medias, but you're a YouTuber, uh, so I thought I'd throw this video together just to go through the competition day. Um, really like the. Uh, I really like the style of the lifting competitions. For anyone that's been to a judo competition will know that it's a, a lot of waiting around. Uh, you're there for most of the day uh, and it can, uh, it can sometimes drag on a little bit. Uh, with the lifting comps, it's, pretty, it's a bit more straightforward. Uh, well, the past two that I've been to have been anyway. So you know exactly when you're going to weigh in and you're basically lifting, sort of, uh, your lifting block will be two hours later. Uh, and then I imagine depending on the number of competitors, you're looking at maybe about like an hour now for the snatch, now for the clean and jerk. So it's, it's a relatively quick and easy process. And uh, let's just get into to, to my lifts. This time my opening lift on the snatch was 75 kilos, which is a two kilo increase on my PB lift for 73 kilos at the last competition. So starting off on a higher weight, I've uh, been feeling good with the snatch, starting to get the hang of it. My shoulders are becoming a little bit more flexible in that position and I'm becoming a little bit less scared of just throwing my head under the bar. Uh, this is definitely my least comfortable movement out of the two lifts. Uh, I, I have had limited experience in like, clean and jerk and overhead pressing in the past uh, with um, my strength and conditioning for my judo, but the snatch is a uh, an exercise I've not really focused on in the past, so it's this has been sort of the the, the hardest technique to learn out of the two. Uh, but the yeah, upper five went up pretty easy, got right under the bar and felt pretty good. Uh, the second lift we went up to 80 kilos, which was going to be a new PB. Um, I'd done 77 in training and failed 82 um, the week before the comp. Uh, and yeah, so got 80 kilos up now. I Looking at the video, I think I might be pressed out on the the snatch a little bit, but the judges gave it, so you know who am I to who am I to argue? Uh, and then from there we went. So 80 was what turns out what the coach wanted me to try and get, and um, unbeknownst to me, he, he just puts the weight in, and I, I just do as I'm told. Um, and then we went up to 85, which would have, I've never even tried 85 in training. Like I said, I'd failed 82. Um, and actually, well, I failed the 85 in the competition, which is my first failure in the competition, which is interesting. Uh, and we sort of learned, I think, a little bit about how I prefer to warm up. So again, it's all trial and error, uh, trying to figure out, it's only, second, my, it's only my second competition. So I'm still trying to figure things out. My coach is still trying to figure out how I respond to things, uh, stimulus, and um, ended up cooling down a little bit between my last warm up rep in the, the, um, in the warm up room. Uh, and then going out to the platform, I felt a little bit cold, uh, and I think I think I'm going to need a little bit more, uh, like a shorter warm up, but a more intense warm up. Uh, like I, I had a bit of a long warm up, and then I think I had a little bit too long between, like I say, going out and actually doing the lift. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I failed that one. So moving into the clean and jerk, uh, I was feeling been feeling good with the clean and jerk in training, and we started off at 106. We were going to do 105. Um, and then just because of the way the the lifters lift in order, so it goes up in order, so the lightest, whoever sets their weight at the lightest goes first and then it works up from there. So we had a bit of time and we are playing around the warm-up area and uh, I'd warmed up to 100 and then the coach asked me to do 105. And if I'd have got that in the warm-up, he was going to change my weight to 110. And then I absolutely, I absolutely balls up a bit in the warm-up area. 
Um, so, <laughs> so instead of doing 130, it quickly dropped me back down to 106, uh, which I went out onto the platform. And as you see, um, actually, I think because I failed, I like nearly overly over pulled it. Like it was a bit of a shock. You see, like in the bottom of the lift, I sort of rocked a little bit. Sort of caught me off guard, but managed to save it. Got the weight above my head, which was good. Went back into the warm area. I was feeling like it was a good confidence boost to get the 106. And then we did uh, in the warm area. We did 110. Uh, 110. What am I on about? No, 110. And then from because I did that in the warm up and I did it well in the warm up, we, we boosted my second lift up to 115. Um, which again, uh, unbeknownst to me, was the lift, the weight that my coach had sort of set as my target to get. Um, went out and absolutely nailed 115, so that was another personal best for me. Um, the best I'd done in the gym had been 112. Uh, and then we went for the 120, which I had tried in training maybe two weeks ago. Uh, and it was a failed lift. My, at the bottom of the catch, my elbow had touched my knee and then I, com I just completely missed the, um, the, the jerk. I, didn't even, I barely got it off my chest. The only thing I got it past my nose, it was just sort of like, oh, and then dropped it on the floor. Um, so yeah, went for it. Like The clean was very, like felt re relatively Easy, I don't like it wasn't easy, but like I mean, in the sense of like it was it felt smooth, um, and then um, uh, I pressed out. So, you see on the, the video, my elbow does a little sort of press, you can't do that, you have to catch the, the jerk component with locked out arms. And I take it for a little bit of a walk, go for a little bit of a wander around, um, managed to lock myself out, and even though it was a fail I still felt much better with that lift just because I actually managed to get my arms out straight I managed to stabilize with that weight above my head which is a massive confidence boost uh, I really feel as though like if I, if I could have had another attempt on both I feel as though I would have nailed it the second time and um, sometimes just having that just the feeling of the weight for the first it just gives your body that's so sort of the confidence or your brain your head you know the confidence be like actually no you know i can lift this weight but you know when you've never come close to having over and um, that kind of weight above your head it you know it can be a little bit daunting um, and then once your body sort of realizes oh yeah you know actually hang on i can stand up without getting squished like a pancake with um, 120 or whatever it is above your head then you know usually the second um it can help you just have confidence to get it the next time so but anyway that's enough for me um hope you enjoyed these videos uh as i said this is this is a new interest of mine and i feel as though olympic weightlifting and judo and just grappling in general really go hand in hand you know you are just moving an awkward uh, awkward object efficiently through the air uh, and the the power and the strength generated from doing you know olympic lifting I'm a big fan of strength and conditioning work uh, and i think incorporating the olympic lifting into your strength programs uh, is highly beneficial for uh, for judo uh, for grappling so definitely recommend it uh, and i think you know i'm loving it i think it's great fun so if you do it awesome you know leave a comment in, uh, down below maybe sticking your pbs uh, we can have a bit of a chat um, and if you are doing olympic lifting yet and you know you're interested we just go and check out in your local area see if you can find a, a club close by definitely recommend you know getting a proper coach uh, the worth the weight in gold so that's it for me um hope you enjoyed the video like i said at the beginning you know i am um, i'm on the, the other socials i'm on instagram and facebook the links are in the description below um what else do we have we also have a judo way of life podcast so if you you know you like listening to me ramble on um with with other people uh you know it's uh, it's, a, it's a good listen you know you can check that out um i think we're on well we're on youtube spotify all that kind of malarkey uh but again link in the description below but until next time guys uh have fun with your training look after yourself look after yourself and um, we'll see you soon bye bye